What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Warzone 3 just to have some fun and switch things up. I know it's a weird concept to have fun in a video game, especially this one, but these loadouts I'm going to give you today actually are fun to use and actually hold up really well against the meta. So if you end up liking these loadouts or you find at least one of these fun to use, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this. Let's get into it. Before we give you these loadouts, I want to take a minute and thank the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most common comprehensive PvP vehicle combat game ever made. The worldwide community of over 70 million players. It is available now for free on PC and console. You can take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of 10 major nations, ranging from biplanes and armored cars from the 1920s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. It has incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and authentic sound effects that put you in the most powerful war machines of our time. War Thunder has sophisticated vehicles vehicle damage models, an impressive damage x-ray view, in-depth customization, and a game mode for every type of player. Whether you play with a controller or mouse and keyboard, you won't need anything extra to be able to play. The game is completely free to play and available on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Just sign up using the link down below in the description of the video and comments of this video, and you'll get a massive bonus pack for free. Whether you're new or a returning player that has multiple premium vehicles and an exclusive vehicle decorator. Thank you again to the team over at War Thunder for sponsoring today's videos. Let's get you these loadouts. All right, so for this first set of loadouts, I went with the Ram 9, but this Ram 9 is a little bit different than we've been using. And then the new MTZ 556, which just got a buff this week. And it's a lot of fun to run. So this Ram 9 is specifically just for tack stance. That's where you're tilting your gun sideways like this. So for that Ram 9, we're gonna go with the f tac MSP 98 hand stop under barrel, the 50 round mag, the motion tack pad, the demo flat comb, and the haste grip tape. Like I said, this is for tack stance, so you're gonna do that right there and it's an absolute beam let's go Next for that MTZ 556, we're gonna go with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, the MTZ Drifter he Heavy Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the XF Close Quarters Assault Stock, and the 50 Round Drum. If I had anything to compare this to, it really resembles the Ram 7 right now, just specifically with the recoil, which you'll see right now. Doesn't have a lot of recoil at all, and pretty much slaps. that guy down for the second set of loadouts we're running the iso hemlock and i've got you a cronin squall loadout that i think is really really fun to use as well for this iso hemlock we're running the vt7 spirit fire suppressor the fielder t50 barrel the high grain rounds the mk3 reflector sight and the 45 round mag and for this cronin squall build we're running the jack bfb muzzle the hr 6.8 barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel i like the mk3 reflector sight again here or the slate reflector sight either one and the 50 round drum show this one to you guys in the firing range Pretty fun to run. Not a ton of recoil with this Jack BFB. So have some fun with this one. Next, I'm running the Striker 9 with a BP50 AR as a strafe build. The Striker 9 running it as an AR instead of a SMG. It's a lot of fun to run in rips at mid range. For that Striker 9, we're running the Jack BFE muzzle, the Striker Elite long barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the 50 round drum, and the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. And like I said, this thing rips at mid range. A lot of fun to run and can hit pretty long range too. And the BP-50, the LHT 200 barrel, the FTAC MSP-98 handstop under barrel, the 45 round mag, the Moat 40 stock, and the CCG TAC tape rear grip. And like I said, this thing is built for strafe speed. Just look how fast it is, man. Put this thing into uh, TAC stance as well. Moves even faster. Just a lot of fun to run and pretty accurate. 
Next is probably my favorite SMG to AR build right now, just that has been for a while now, which is the WSP9 built like the Milano from back in the day. And then I'm running this with the one shot XRK Stalker, a little bit new build here, but uh, a lot of fun to run. So for this WSP9, we're rocking the WSP Optac Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 50 Round Mag, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope, and the WSP Classics Factory Stock. This thing just absolutely rips at mid range. You're not beating this thing almost at all at mid range and can hit long range as well. So much fun to run. And for this XRK Stalker, definitely is one shot. Sonic Suppressor XL Muzzle, the Fission 60 Barrel. The high grain rounds, you don't have to have any kind of high velocity or incendiary or explosive rounds here, just the high grain rounds. I'm running the No Stock for a little bit extra ADS speed. And then we're rocking the XRK Stalker Light Bolt, which will speed up that firing rate a little bit. And I feel like it's best to show you actual gameplay of this one shotting instead of in the firing range because it's just a little bit more realistic. Next, we're rocking the MCW with the Renetti pistol with the conversion kit on it. These two are a lot of fun to run, especially at mid range and short range for the Renetti. A lot of fun to run on Fortune's Keep, especially. So for this MCW, we're going with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, the MCW Cyclone Long Barrel. I like the Chimera Ryan 03 vertical grip because this doesn't have a lot of horizontal recoil. So we're mostly focused on vertical recoil here. The 60 round drum and the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope or whatever scope makes you comfortable. Like I said, that MCW at mid range is so, so good. And it can hit long range as well. No problems there. A lot of fun to run. So have some fun with this one. Then for that Renetti, we're going with the Bruin Triport Muzzle, the Chimera Ryan 03 Vertical Grip, the High Grain Rounds, the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit, which basically turns this into an SMG, and the 50 Round Drum. And then for that Renetti, it's so fast because it's a pistol and pretty accurate as well. And not terrible at mid-range either. So can definitely hit at mid range, just like an SMG. Then for this last set of loadouts, I ran the Razorback with the Vel 46. The Razorback is surprisingly good. I absolutely love running this and I ran a Vel 46 with it or the MP7. These two together are really, really fun to run. So for that Tempest Razorback, we're going to Jack BFP muzzle, the TAC 2L barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel. I like the high grain rounds with this and the 60 round mag. So you're basically just front building this Razorback. Yeah, these things are a ton of fun to run. The Razorback was super surprising with how much damage it did and just a lot of fun to run. And for the Vel 46, I'm going with the Jack BFP muzzle because it does have a lot of like recoil and gun kick. So to, to dial that back, we want the Jack BFP muzzle, the Lock DX 203 millimeter barrel, the DR6 handstop under barrel, the 50 round mag. And to make this thing super fast with that Jack BFP, we're running the collapsed stock. And this MP7 or Vel 46, it just absolutely ripped, even at mid range. Just a lot of fun to run. Are they Got one done. If you guys enjoyed these loadouts, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this or like one of these. We'll see you in the next one.